I realized in my last video how confrontational it is when you can't even see my entire face in the shot because I have it so close in. I was like, well, we're doing an eyeshadow video. You'll want to be really close in. Not the entire time, Khaki. Not everybody wants 100% of their screen to be your face. Hi, guys. What's up? Welcome back. Today, it is officially, in my world, September. And you know what that means. It means that despite overwhelming evidence of the contrary, we as a collective here in Austin and the lower half of the United States pretend that it's fall and we pull out all of our pumpkins and we drink all of our pumpkin spice lattes and we try and get in the spirit. So today we are celebrating a fall release. It's actually coming out tomorrow so if you go to the website and look for it today you're not going to see it. It comes out September the 6th so look out for it tomorrow. But Thrive is celebrating the coming season with a brand new fall themed eyeshadow palette. It is the Focus Eyeshadow Palette number three. We have the shades Bridget, Dilshani, Marina, and Aubrey. And those are significant because those are all representative of women who have impacted Carissa's life in a positive way. So we are going to be using this eyeshadow palette today to create a nice fall themed look on my eyeballs and I really like this palette because it's all mattes so that will be fun. We're going to do as many Thrive products on my face today as possible because <laughs> you guys have been asking me so many different questions about these products that I have not really had the chance to kind of answer in a video so hopefully we'll be able to satisfy all of those queries in this video as well. Let's go ahead and get started guys. Yes, so. One of the first questions that I've gotten from you guys regarding the Buildable Blur CC Cream, it was one of Carissa's tips, and she said that you can mix a dime size amount of the new setting powder with this before you apply it, mix it together, and it will make it a matte finish foundation. So, guys, I can't resist trying that. I think that that sounds fun. And so we're going to do that today on my face. Even though I'm not necessarily a matte finish kind of girl when it comes to my foundation, I still want to try it. I don't know. Where should I mix this? You guys saw what a disaster I was last time. I'm just going to kind of shake some out here on the lid. I can't measure out a dime. This stuff smells really good because it has vitamin C in it, <laughs> the powder. And that looked incriminating. It's just the, uh, the, the setting powder, but it smells naturally. God, Khaki, that is just a really bad visual. It smells really good because it has vitamin C in it. So I'm going to take my shade, which is fair light, which I've also done a terrible job of telling you guys. And I'm going to squeeze like a few pumps of that out on here. And I'm going to, I'm going to just mix it together with my finger because I have no idea what's going to happen here. There exists that Urban Decay Velvetizer powder that claims to do the same thing that is also just a repackaging of another one of their powders, which is shady, shady, shady. So this is not a, a new strategy necessarily, but I do want to test it. Got my little sponge here. It's relatively clean. And we will spread her out. I am having some menstrual breakouts happening, which always results in me picking, which is terrible, but I am also due for a chemical peel, so that will solve all of my problems. It's such a good match and it's so easy to apply. Um, I think I like that even better. I mean, don't quote me yet because we haven't seen it like dried down with other makeup on top and stuff, but I actually like that even better than the original finish. It just has a little bit more of a velvety finish. Plus you get to combine all of those skincare ingredients that are in both products into the thing that's closest to your face, which is kind of neat. I wonder if this means on my skin type that I won't have to powder it. I'm still going to, but I wonder if that would make it easier to wear it without powdering it. That ended up being just the right amount of product. I'm gonna take the little sharp side and kind of get where I need it to go here. So, at first blanche, I would say, yes, that absolutely works. And it's very, very pretty. And it's possibly even easier to work with when you do that. Okay, as you can see, we definitely need to do some concealing. I am in the need for a little bit of extra coverage today. So I'm actually going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape and touch a couple of little spots here that are completely my fault. And blend that in really quickly with our sponge. Mm. 
Very nice. Now, <laughs> I do have a self tan right now, so we are going to do some work with bronzer here in a minute, but let's go ahead and powder this down first using our same powder. A lot of people have also been asking me to draw a distinction between this powder and a lot of my other favorite powders. My other favorites are the Becca Hydra Mist and the Wowder and the new Too Faced Banana one. <sighs> really quickly, I will say this one is translucent. This is going to give you that translucent vibe. It's very finely milled. You don't have to buy this in a shade. This works for any skin tone. I've seen the deepest of skin tones make it work beautifully, even baking. The Wowder is a, it's a powder for people who don't like powder. Wowder is going to give you a skin finish that isn't very mattified, but it does set your makeup down. That's basically its purpose, is that it makes the makeup not move around, but it's not going to really mattify you. The Hydra Mist is awesome stuff and it's going to give you a really snatched appearance. I would say that it is larger in particle size than a finely milled HD powder. And the the banana is not for people who need a lot of mattification. It is honestly for people who want to have a, a just a very lightweight face of makeup. It's really, really nice for, for setting down, but it doesn't have any kind of coverage. So this has a little bit of coverage. Let me know if that helped at all. Maybe I'll just make a diagram. I got a new set of makeup organizers, which are awesome. I got them from Super Great as like a prize. Super Great sends me stuff sometimes just to try, but also from like watching my videos, I get the little super coins and then I can redeem those. And so that is where I got my new makeup organizer. I posted it on Instagram. I don't know if you guys saw that. So this is some of the Rhea bronzer and Usually this is a little bit aggressive for me. I usually will wear something that's just not this bronze, but <laughs> I'm, like I said, I'm self tan, so I need to, I need a little bit of help. And there actually is a giveaway going on my channel right now for this, 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 and this, and I will link that somewhere. Okay, I'm going to use Rosie from Thrive here on my cheeks. This is such a beautiful pink. I think a pink cheek with a fall look can be so pretty just because it's it's unexpected. I think that we all kind of want to stay in these warm, orangey, peachy tones, but like a really nice kind of golden pink just adds this nice, healthy flush. Isn't that nice? And I love the little bit of shimmer that's in that. It's this really nice glow. So then we're going to go in with the Liberty highlighter. I'm going to use this awesome, this is my favorite highlighter brush. It's like a giant fluffy eyeshadow brush, but just, you know, for your face. And kind of go all over with this. My mom wears this and it looks so freaking cute on her. It's just like golden enough. It brightens up anybody's skin tone. I think it's so pretty, but I just love that like, I don't know, I was visiting with her last weekend and I just like looked over and I was like, hey, I know that highlighter. I can tell by looking at it. I'm actually in my PJs still. <laughs> like I'm actually getting ready for my day. Tomorrow is my bachelorette party and my friend Genevieve gets in town this evening and so we just got a little bit of work to do to kind of prepare for that. You guys, I would be perfectly content to leave my face like this. I just think that it is such a beautiful finish. I love the CC cream. It's so, so pretty. And I haven't even done a finishing spray or anything on it yet. And I just think that that is so pretty. Okay, I'm going to give myself a preliminary little spritz with primer spray to kind of set that initial layer while we talk about what Thrive was kind enough to send me for this little seasonal release. So besides this really freaking cute, fall-ish palette that is extremely wearable. The other things that they sent me here, they sent me a black eyeliner, which I did not own from them yet, a brand new thing of mascara, thank God, because mine was getting like gummy bears. Then we have a couple of fresh new brushes. We have a flat brush and this awesome fluffy brush, which I can never have enough of, so thank you. And they sent me two lip colors that I will need to decide between because they are so beautiful. So this is, I'm trying to read it upside down, uh, Narima, which is a really gorgeous kind of plummy gloss. Very, very pretty, very fall. That's what that looks like. And then we have Joanne, which 
I'm already kind of obsessed with. And it is more of a creamy gloss. I mean, I think that they're the same formula, but this one's just a little bit more opaque, but it's a really beautiful kind of dusty rose color. I think I use that word too much, but it's like mauve, whereas this is very berry. So once we get the eye look on, I will kind of make a decision, but I love both of them. I'm just gonna throw a shadow primer on real quick. This is the same one that I always use. The Luscious Cosmetics Angel Eyes. Now I will pull you guys in aggressively close and make everyone uncomfortable, but I want you guys to be able to see my eyeballs. Hi, hello. We are going to start with a brand new, fresh, fluffy brush here. And of course, I'm going to start with a wash of this really beautiful cream color called Bridget. Woo, she's a little dusty. Very nice though, very smooth, finely milled. Does a really good job of getting opacity that covers my veins, it's really nice gonna be a really nice kind of flat smooth canvas to work on look at that look how kind of blurred even that skin is over my eyes I'm gonna put that underneath my eyes too it's just nice how it's blurring everything I don't want to just chase that feeling so I think that I'm actually going to just go full pumpkin here and we're going to use this shade Aubrey all over the lid and create a really nice sort of smoky effect I've been really into smoky eyes lately and I'm going to go in with my very tiny fluffy brush here from Real Techniques. So this is like, I lean on this brush so hard I should own like five of them. And I'm building this color slowly because these are deep shades and we could get in trouble really quickly and it's so important to be patient because who knows, maybe I'll get a wash of this color on that isn't super, super opaque and I will like how it looks better. You just don't know until you do it. I'm gonna take this just a little bit outside of my natural lid area here or lid shape even just use a little bit of this space out here easy 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 i you know an eye look doesn't have to have 10 shades in it i'm really interested to see what this kind of khaki shade looks like i've never used my own name <laughs> to describe a color but this is called uh Dilshani but I'm really, really excited to see what that looks like on my eyes here. I'm just going to go above that. I love that because it has a little bit of a, a green to it. I know that it doesn't necessarily look like it, but it kind of leans a little bit olive and it adds this kind of cool drama to it without being really dark. It's just very moody looking. I realized when I painted a self-portrait when I was 11 or 12 years old, because I was really into painting. I mean, I was taking oil painting classes starting at about age eight, and I painted a portrait of myself, and even, you know, before highlights and all of that, I realized how much green that I had to use in order to make my hair color and even my skin color. It's interesting how I can sort of see that same shade profile in this Dilshani color. And it does, it kind of pulls a lot of those sort of more olive tones out of my hair. Okay, I'm going to use a flatter brush here and I'm going to dip back into that white shade and I'm just going to blend. That one is very dusty. I'm not mad about it, but it's just very different from the other shades in that sense. And I'm going to use that to blend up here into the brow bone. So I'm going to take my little baby brush again, and I'm going to dip it in the darkest brown here, which is called Marina, gently at first. We're not sure how this is gonna pay off. Oh man, oh man, that is so pretty. Sorry, this is like an ASMR video. I don't know why. I think it's because my fiance is watching football in on mute in the next room <laughs> that I feel like I need to like speak more softly than usual. Like I'm not technically alone. <laughs> so this is like a very whispery video. I'm just using kind of my empty brush. Empty. 
I guess it's empty. I'm actually going to take a little bit of the white and a little bit of like the, the khaki color and I'm going to use that to really blend this out into the rest of my face here. We love a properly blended queen. So I think now, seeing what I'm seeing, we can go in a little bit harder with that original kind of orange color, that Aubrey color. So I'm actually going to spray a brush here. So we're gonna just spritz her with a little bit of water. I'm going to see how the kind of pumpkin-y shade performs on my lid. We are going for a fully matte look here, which I think is kind of fun for my channel. I'm not, you know, I usually do some kind of a, a glint of color, but this is gonna be so like, I don't know. It, it, you know what it reminds me of? It's like an old ad where it's just like these beautiful models with these very kind of like soft eye looks back in the 90s. Like everything was so matte. That's kind of what I'm loving about this look right now. And I'm bringing it up a little bit higher just because I think that it'll make the lid look a little bit bigger. I'm going to take that fluffy brush that they sent me and I'm going to dip it in that khaki color. We're just gonna rework that blend right there at the top of where we just place that color. I just like how none of this is muddy. It, it all blends together without kind of losing sight of each of the pigments. Probably because all of these shades kind of occur naturally together in nature. I think I'm actually gonna try the khaki color underneath my eyes and see what that does, if it even shows up. Oh man. So pretty. I'm just gonna do it on the outer corner. I wanna make my eyes look, you know, bigger. I'm just gonna kind of skip the inner corner highlight of it all, but I'm just going to take a little bit of the white and just use that to kind of make sure that we don't have a bunch of kind of errant fallout right there. But it's not gonna be a highlight. So since they sent me an eyeliner, we're going to use an eyeliner. <laughs> because I feel like they kind of packed me a lunch here, right? <laughs> it feels like they packed me a set of things to use. I'm not typically a black eyeliner girl, but we are going to go for this right now. So we're just going to go for a really smudgy line. I'm just gonna really just stick that in the lash line more than anything. Please, if you can see that. Okay, so that's, ooh, that's actually pretty on camera. It's a little crazy in person, but I'm going to take a flat pointy brush and I'm going to really rub that into my lash line here in a minute. Just really wiggle it in there and I'm not putting it all the way to my tear duct or anything. I wanna give myself some place to go. So you can see it's just kind of these little stippled lines right now or dots, I guess. It's not ideal, but I'm going to take this little guy right here and work that into the lash line. And I'm using kind of downward motions, downward and sideways. I don't want to like make that line any bigger than it already is. That's so pretty. And you get this really nice kind of blended, diffused, smoky, sexy eye out of that. And I really, really like that. There's very, very little fallout. So I really appreciate that too. Going to just add a little bit of powder underneath my eyes here to make sure that there isn't any fallout at all. And we are going to load up on some mascara out of a brand new tube, which feels so good. And you guys always ask me, to show me putting this on. So that's what we're going to do today. Really build underneath the lash line, I guess. You know, the base of the lashes first. Work that in there. Ow, try not to jab yourself in the eye at all. And then just, you know, groom the rest of the eyelashes. I haven't done my brows yet either. We'll do that when my eyelashes are drying. Here's one. Easy squeezy. Take your time with your mascara. I did get a little bit underneath my lower lash line somehow. I'm not sure how I did that. And what you do with this stuff is you just wait and then you can just take your nail and scrape it off. So let's go ahead and put my brows in order here. I'm going to use 
the Audrey Eyebrow Liner. I love kind of a, a big brow like all the time, but I really like it in the fall. There's just something very natural about it. A big bushy eyebrow. Love that. Love it, love it, love it. Let's throw on a little bit of my Glossier Boy Brow. It's pretty much the only product that is not Thrive that I'm using on my face today. This is one of my mainstay products for life. It just adds such a groomed finish to the eyebrows. I love it so much. Gonna hit the bottom lash with just a little bit of mascara. I always like to make sure that my top ones dry first because otherwise, if I do this while well, they're still wet, not only does it get everywhere, but it makes my lashes point downwards. I lose all my curl. So now that we've got this much look on my eyes, I think that I'm going to go with sort of the softer, more nude choice here in the lip glosses. So I'm going to go in with Joanne. It looks a little severe at first, although it's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm just gonna blend that out with my finger. I am so into this makeup look. I haven't done a look like this on my channel in a while that's just all mattes on the eyes. And this lip color, while it is definitely a little darker of a nude, it is so kind of seasonally appropriate. It's very warm and kind of like spicy colored. I love it so much. I really am obsessed with this makeup look right now. I mean, obviously there's no wear test for this because we've already wear tested this foundation. I have no problem wearing this look all day because this is definitely something that is like right up my alley in terms of my actual choice of how I like to wear my makeup. So I hope that you guys like this as much as I do. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. I am excited to just kind of go about my day now because this is just a really, really pretty look. And I will list all of the products that I used below so that you guys can check them out again. Everything else is already out, but this eyeshadow palette that we worked with today, it is the new Focus eyeshadow palette number three. It doesn't come out until tomorrow, so keep an eye out for it on the website. And then also guys, I always forget to mention, you can get 15% off at Thrive using my name, Kaki, K-A-C-K-I-E, at checkout, and that will give you 15% off any order forever and ever. So you can go and get your fix at Thrive and save a little bit of money. So I hope that you guys love this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna keep hanging out with me on this channel, guys, hit the button down below and subscribe. I would love it if you did. If there are any kind of fall theme videos or looks that you guys are interested in seeing from me, make sure to leave those in the comments below. I would love to try that kind of stuff out for you guys. Thank you guys so freaking much for watching today. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.